Alright, welcome to SoFlow TV again everybody, it's your host with the most. I'm on my way right now out here in traffic, so bear with me if you hear the vehicle noise and switching lanes and them thing, alright? But I go pick up my kids then, but we just catch a news notification out of Jamaica about a triple murder in Hanover involving a woman and her two children. Two little picnic. What I want to know is this. How can a person take a machete and chop up two little picnic? That's how me want to know. What kind of what kind of what kind of individual is this? Now remember, you know, actually according to the loop so far, they have police has already have one person in custody. But I'm saying hard drugs is a robbery. You're hype on drugs while committing the robbery. What 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 was it? I'm interested to know the details. To the bigger picture though, to the bigger picture, y'all remember when the year started out, right? A lot of people, a lot of people are a few, a few silly ass Jamaicans find it, found it necessary to disrespect me for saying that for 2018, we're going to surpass the 1,616 murders of 2017 in Jamaica. Them say, me wicked. I mean, I wish bad things upon Jamaica, and I'm trying to show them that for 2016, we surpassed 2015. For 2017, we surpassed 2016. So it's simple mathematics with no preventative measures put in place. Intelligent people will understand that line of reasoning with no, in, with no, nothing put in place, no preventative measures put in place, no deterrence put in place to make sure that this doesn't continue to happen. It's only right to assume that we are going to beat that number for 2018. We are going to beat 2017 murder rate. Now, this is heartbreaking to know that a mother and our two picnic, that I don't care what she do nobody. Make sure she never chop up nobody picnic. Right? And here's my thing. I'm still calling up one and I'm holding accountable Andrew Holness and everybody else that is aligned with him because they're in a position of power right now and people are going to say Andrew Wellness can't stop not the way I go on in Jamaica so flow stop your foolishness okay these politicians can get together right and they can make a deterrent meaning we will implement or reinstate the death penalty in Jamaica no man no no hear me no make me start preach like me I preach at front church because here what you see in a country, in the countries where you rape and your balls get cut off or you're castrated, you steal and they remove your arm. In those countries, that's a big deterrent. Ain't too many people thiefing and raping in those countries. And they don't have a lot of people incarcerated. And them have people that are living below poverty level. We find a way to wall out, and then go kill people, rob people things, because you know the consequences are that severe. Jamaica has no deterrent for people that do these things. Now, mind you, recently a police officer in Jamaica get chopped up, right? Out in my part of Jamaica, and on my video yesterday, I spoke about it, and I told you, if you were ever in Jamaica, and I'm in Jamaica at the same time, and you pass through the Christiana area, you will probably run into me. If you pass through the Christiana area on any given day, whether I'm there or not, you will probably run into a family member of mine, because a my ends them there. With that said, this case right here, it's not a madman attack a woman and chop up she and her picnic them. I can bet that's not what it is. And I don't have the full details of the case. I just saw the headline and I thought it was shocking as hell. A woman and her two children chopped to death inside their home. My gosh, man. My gosh. I want my audience to tell me in the comment section what do you think. Do you think that it's time 
for Jamaica to reinstate the death penalty, to bring back hanging. I think what we used to do in Jamaica is actually the gallus method. So it's a rope round neck, right? And pop a man neck. And I think uh, human rights activists and Jamaicans alike were saying it is too inhumane. So maybe Jamaica has to step up with the times and find another way to carry out the death penalty. Maybe we can carry it out by lethal injection, which many are arguing that that in itself is inhumane because they've seen people gag and burp and cough and vomit and still don't die for hours after getting that injection. So they're still figuring out a humane way to kill a murderer. Here what? In my book, me don't care about no humane way. If it was up to me, <laughs> if it was up to me, I'm an Old Testament guy. So if it was up to me, you dig out a eye, me I dig out one of your eye them too. You understand? You will feel what it feels like. You use a long sharp blade to take somebody's knife, a long sharp blade should be used to take your life too. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comment section below because things are getting way out of hand and I'm tired of hearing people come up with excuses and I'm tired of hearing people say stuff like, oh, um, you kill a man we kill don't make you any better and all this and it's you just as bad as the killer. Uh, yeah, man, I will be just as bad as the killer. I'm dead, though. I'm dead like the people them when kill. Yeah? Life is precious. And we must learn to start respecting life. Our life and the life of others. The life of animals. The life of people. The life of all living things. You see it? And that's the thing about Jamaica right now is that a lot of people, I'm not saying everybody, but a lot of people in Jamaica have no respect for life. No respect for life. When you kill somebody, you can't bring them back. Them gone forever, for eternity. So why should you be blessed with the opportunity to still wake up every day and be here living life when you just took someone off the face of the earth that you cannot recreate or reproduce? Why? No man, talk to me in the comment section, Jamaican people are people from around the world, I shouldn't even say Jamaican people, because I have, now that the format is this broad, we have subscribers on SoFlo TV and Brazen and the Beat channel from all around the world, right, we appreciate everybody and glad you're here, I'm going to go all along this camera here, because police out here, right Nessa, and you know it's not right to vlog and drive at the same time. I'm going to end this video right here, but I want y'all to talk to me and let me know if I'm wrong. Is it time for Jamaica to bring back the death penalty? And y'all go look at the loop and tell me what you think about this story. A woman and her two children chopped to death. Chopping up. Remember, we talked about this, how a gunshot is easy because a, a child can pull a trigger and then look the next way and a life is taken. But to walk up to someone close and strangle the life out of them or to use a long sharp blade and chop 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 till they're dead that's height of wickedness and someone like this should be removed from earth you understand i'm out of here man peace